Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is your boy Dan, aka Aja. But guys, week 13 of the NPA, the New York Metapods are taking on the Atlanta Braviaries and coach Person715, I believe. And uh, we are rocking at a very nice 10 wins and one loss with the best record in the league and the best differential, actually tied for the best differential. And Person715 and the Atlanta Braviaries are 2-9 with a negative 22 differential. So they've had a bit of a rough season so far, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't take this match seriously. So I'll run through the team really quickly. I will pre preface things by saying um, I did kind of rush this team build. I also looked at the comments to get some kind of fun ideas from you guys. I didn't stray too far away from the standard, but at the same time, I did bring some fun stuff. So I, I kind of was like, oh man, I need to throw a team together. And actually I felt that it was harder to come up with a creative team that would be effective than it would be to just run the standard stuff. So I kind of mixed the two and we'll see how it goes. But either way, hopefully we can pick up a win here and go to uh, 11 and one and that would finish the league with the best record. So that's the plan. And then we got playoffs coming up very soon. So that'll be fun. I will step it back up for the playoffs. Anyway, let's look at our team. Oh, let's look at his team first. It's got a chancy, huge wall, really tough to take down. Really got to hit it with a toxic uh, to beat it. And that's that's really one of the focuses of, uh, or really hit it with a knockoff. I'm sorry to knock it out. Uh, really get rid of that EV light, make it a little bit more vulnerable. Togekiss, great fairy type. Obviously, has the potential to set up, uh, you know, thunder waves and then potentially flinch things. Nasty plot, gets defog. It's really his only hazard remover on his team. So got to keep in mind for that. Kingdra, Kingdra's kind of scary, actually, especially in the rain. I don't think he's going to bring a Swift Storm Kingdra. He might bring like a Focus Energy Critdra. Um, but again, this match doesn't really matter for them, and it doesn't really matter for us, so I don't know what he's going to bring. But, uh, you know, Kingdra is a thing. Draco Meteor always critting is very scary. Uh, Chinchino. Chinchino is usually a, 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 a very often a lead with skill link, hitting things hard with uh, Tail Slap and Rock Blast and Bullet Seed. Uh, Mill Tank could be defensive. It could be offensive too, Curse Tank, things like that. But mostly he sets Stealth Rocks and just is annoying. Really bulky to take down. Uh, but has some very... Uh, Mill Tank and Chansey aren't the same, but they have a lot of similar things that they do. So I don't expect them to both come. Luxray, uh, really cool Pokemon. Intimidate, could run Guts, Volt Switch, physically offensive. Uh, but typically is not a huge threat. It's definitely low tier for a reason, but it is a decent Pokemon. Mega Alakazam has so many spoons on the screen. I don't even know what to do with myself. But uh, Mega Alakazam obviously hits incredibly hard. It's very, very fast but of course it is very very frail so uh you know we have some good responses to it he's got a girder of course baby conkelder rocking that evil light so very similar to chancy if we knock off its item it's gonna be very easy to break uh sableye obviously willow wisping shenanigans luckily for us my mega sableye destroys his regular sableye so there you go and uh he's got an embor very scary pokemon embor is actually especially if he's uh like a choice banded embor very hard to switch into and last but not least vivian which is uh, obviously quite annoying with sleep powder quiver dance hurricane to potentially bug buzz things like that so got to keep an eye out for that to be set up sweeping in terms of what i think he's gonna bring chancy togekiss mega alakazam maybe sableye maybe embor or something like that that would be what, my, what i guess so anyway let's kind of jump into our team here and, and you can tell i'm obviously moving quickly here i have the match coming up in moments so i gotta get ready for the match and, and jump into it but uh we'll kind of fly through things here so the first pokemon we're bringing it's not much of a secret mega sableye baby rocking that mixed mega sableye kind of mixed defenses so a little bit of physical bulk a little bit of special Bulk. Honestly, Calm Mind Mega Sableye sweeps his entire team. I was gonna bring it, but I decided, eh, I'm not going to. I probably should have though. I probably should have brought Calm Mind Mega Sableye because again, it, it destroys his entire team aside from Embor. But either way, I'm bringing Knock Off, Shadow Sneak, Will O Wisp, Recover, Shadow Sneak to hit the uh, Alakazam super effective, obviously with priority. Knock Off there for Chansey. Uh, the nice thing about Mirror Mirror versus Chansey is Chansey cannot touch us. Uh, we can also knock off some other items, potentially burn a couple things. So I really like this Sable. I'm pretty standard stuff. Normally I've been running Fake Out on it, but I went with Shadow Sneak this week instead of Fake Out because I felt like I'd be able to Mega against most of his things. So not a big deal. Uh, next Pokemon we're bringing is our Entei here. Vesuvius not bringing Sunny Day. I'm so sorry. No Sunny Day. Shifter had its chance last week and did not do what it needed to do. But here we got Vesuvius here. Pretty standard. Max attack. Max speed. Adam in nature. Sacred fire. Extreme speed. Stone edge. Flare blitz. Didn't want to go banded because I wanted to be able to switch moves and hit extreme speed to hit that Alakazam. He doesn't really have many good switch-ins to Extreme Speed. Uh, I'm sorry, to Stone Edge or Sacred Fire. The two stab moves actually destroy his entire team. So that's really nice to know. And uh, he doesn't really have, uh, like, even like Togekiss is not coming in. We outspeed Togekiss and things like that. So Entei can put in some serious, serious work. And its priority is very, very useful. We got a lot of priority on the team this week. Uh, the next Pokemon is going to be our lead Pokemon. Again, this is another scenario where I wanted to try something different. 
Uh, I don't think this is the best set. I think Protect three attacks is the best set. Poison Jab, Mega Horn, or uh, Poison Jab, Pin Missile, Protect, and uh, and Superpower would have been the best set against him. But I decided to not bring that. I brought the Focus Sash Endeavor lead, which is a set that I've been wanting to use all season. So my goal is to lead with this thing, set up T spikes and spikes, Hazard stack him, have the Pin Missile there, Endeavor after we bring down to our Sash and destroy something, hopefully, uh, and hopefully Crimson can force some switches early game. But this is my dedicated lead as of right now, depending on what his team bring is. If he bring if he brings Shinchino, it might not be my lead i might uh, lead sableye but either way i'm gonna stack hazards on him and get those t spikes up that'll really help us wear down things like his chancy things like the sableye itself some of the bulkier stuff i figured he's got a good amount of bulk so if i could wear them down with t spikes and spikes it's gonna give us a good opportunity to win the match and uh, pit of missiles obviously there just because uh i don't know it's more accurate than Megahorn, so I guess that's a thing. Next Pokemon, Big Daddy, Flash Drive. Thunderous here rocking that Expert Bell Max Speed, uh, or a good amount of speed. Let me take a look. Actually, this thing is running uh, enough speed, 164 speed, so Max Speed to Outspeed Kingdra, I believe. Or actually, I'm sorry, Vivian. It, it outspeeds Max Speed Vivian. Uh, max Special Attack, a lot of attack investment. Thunderbolt, Knock Off, Volt Switch, Superpower. Pretty standard stuff. Knock off the item from the, the Chansey, hit him with a, hit him with a uh, nice little... This little superpower there. Thunderbolt pretty much destroys so much of his team, especially with that E-Bolt. We can hit things incredibly, incredibly hard. Didn't want to run Life Orb, wanted the E-Belt on there. I didn't want to take uh, Life Orb damage. It seems to stack up pretty quickly on this guy. So went with a little bit different of an approach with the Thunderous this week, but uh, pretty standard stuff either way. Uh, T-Bolt's there, obviously destroys things. Volt Switch for momentum, so... You guys know the dealio. Here's where the fun starts, though. We're bringing Rolex back, but it is a very, very special Rolex this week. Max attack with a ton of speed. 220 speed EVs allowing us to outspeed Vivian after an Autotomize. We've got the Autotomize there because it's a really cool move. Doubles our speed stat. Earthquake, Iron Head, Life Orb, Sheer Force, Boosted, and Explosion. I don't know why Explosion. Explosion makes zero sense. I probably should have ran Crunch, but I threw Explosion on there because I thought it'd be so funny if I just like exploded on something. I just thought that'd be really funny. So I brought Explosion. So hopefully I get a chance to click that move throughout this match and make some stuff happen here. But we are we are an offensive Steelix. We're ready to rock. So hopefully this thing can put in some work. A lot of people in the comment section were saying, bring bring Rock Polish, Autotomize Steelix, bring, bring a fast Steelix, something like that. And I was like, all right, I'll bring it. I'll bring the offensive Steelix this week. It'll be fun. So there's my offensive Steelix. And last but not least, the fail safe that sweeps the entire team, Cresselia. Cresselia sets up a substitute and wins. Uh, if, if I get on a Chansey, Chansey can't break my substitutes with Seismic Toss. Uh, after a call mine, he can't touch me. Psyshock Moonblast destroys the entire team. Uh, Cresselia beats him 100%. Um, if I could set up a substitute on the Chansey, it's over. The game's over. Um, if I get up a couple call mines. I mean, this thing really, it's so good, dude. It's its honestly, I don't think it should be allowed in the format. It's so good. Cresselia is just so it's so dirty. It's so unfair, man. It's its very rarely, there's only a few things in the game that really check Cresselia well, and, and I don't think he has those things on his team. I, I just don't. I don't. I don't think so. I mean, Sableye maybe with Prankster can taunt me and keep me from setting up, but I have Moonblast for, for Sableye. Um, didn't run Moonlight, went with Moonblast to hit the Sableye super effective. And uh, honestly, Psyshock's there. This is a good response to Embor as well, which is very nice. Uh, it also, like I said, it sets up a sub in front of the Chansey. It, sets up, it just it sets up in, in front of so many things. So if I get a substitute up, it's like over. So I don't even have to sub in front of Alakazam. I just click call mine too. I can definitely take a Shadow Ball. So got a lot of options there. Uh, this thing is 100% designed to take on the Chansey though, uh, and really set up in front of it. So. Really, really quick team builder today. Really quick team builder for this match. I hope you guys enjoy the match. It's going to be up tomorrow, of course, uh, when you guys are watching this. So please show your love on that like button down below. And get excited as the playoffs are right around the corner. I believe the playoffs start next week for the NPA. So we're going to have a lot of fun with that. And hopefully we can make a run to another championship. As we did just win the championship of the GBA a couple weeks back. It would be nice to win a championship here in the NPA. So that is me for me, guys. My name is Dan. Also, my A-Drive. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.